we are going to see and learn how to tear down a Mavic Mini into two and further how to clean any dust, dirt, water or rubbish left over inside it in case this small wonder has crashed and drowned in water and how to lubricate any jammed or squeaking parts hello drone lovers pilots and flyers thanks for stopping by from sprawling and showing interest in this great video the video is totally made and uploaded for informative purposes and not for some cheap entertainment buzz for entertainment keep your search on so let's first begin with the tear down for tear down of course we need a mavic mini isn't it just kidding and the screwdriver that comes with it in the packaging one or two flat or nose band type plastic tweezers or plastic guitar picks like this and a set of small precision screwdrivers set with a metal tweezer so first of all we have to unfold the front legs first and then the rear legs removing the camera gimbal protector and now we have to open these four screws which holds mini's top plastic covers with rest of its bodies these are to be unscrewed with dji provided screwdriver unscrew them nicely no need of too much muscle power Remove memory card and make sure battery is removed as we don't like any switch on surprises and short circuits. Now from the front side of mini, open a small portion of top side by using the guitar pick or the plastic tweezer. Once cover locks are opened and a groove shows up, insert the other pick into it so that groove stays open. Using plastic tweezer or the screwdriver start unlocking top cover all the way around through its connection path with rest of its body. Keep on gently unlocking and pushing the top frame all the way to its complete separation from body. This is how half of the mini looks after top cover is removed. This is the camera gimbal assembly with four attachment slots. This white yellowish square chip is the GPS module which aids in getting connected to all those planetary satellites, leads mini back to home in RTH mode and is very handy in finding last location in case of a crash. See how flexible this frame is. GPS module sits in a vibration free frame and is attached to main circuit board with these screws. Here is this flatliner strip which transfers two way data from GPS module so that mini calculated hovering doesn't go wrong. These are the soldered terminals which connect wires of the four motors fitted at the very ends of four legs. These are connection terminals through which battery gets connected and provides power to this small wonder. New viewers who haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and press bell icon to get notifications of all future videos. Please do like, comment and share my videos. Now it's time to open the lower half frame of mini and that will start by unscrewing these two tiny screws. Once both screws come out, carefully and gently open the bottom hatch with the help of a tiny flat screwdriver, guitar picks or tweezers. Make sure not to insert any tool too deep into the hatch as it may damage sensitive parts and connections of circuit board inside. While opening lower hatch, unlock it very gently and safely at the point where power on button is given. 
At this very point, there are three nasty locks which may become pain in as they are tightly locked. Wow! A cover flicked out just like a spring. Wow! Flicked out. Wow! Flicked out. Wow! Flicked out. Wow! Flicked out just like a spring. You can see on this frame some dust is visible which certainly has to be cleaned. So with the help of a microfiber cloth, dust is getting removed from frame. This is to be done gently and not to damage these two bottom obstacle avoidance sensors or any other visible circuits. These sensors play a very crucial role while landing. Here is the tiny power button. And this DJI stickers shows that whether Mini has any tear down or not in this section. But we are already tearing down and continue further doing it by opening these screws which are holding this frame to the body. Frame is now loose so remove it to see what's underneath. There is this bluish paste which is actually a kind of silicon free thermal paste commonly called as heatsink paste or thermal paste in electronic world. Inner side of this frame is also dirty so better clean it too with safety. Taking microfiber cloth and a universal non-corrosive contact cleaner called WD-40. Again damping the cloth, it's moment to clean these shiny parts which actually are heat sinks whose function is to kick out excessive heat generated from circuit boards and the battery. Now cleaning these tiny terminals which are actually antenna connectors. Mavic Mini has two antennas for Wi-Fi frequency tuned between a range of 2.4 GHz to 5.8 GHz. Why not pop up antenna connectors and then clean them? Let's do it. With tweezers, open up antenna connectors from their circuit terminals and better then clean them. These small connectors are firmly fixed so remove them with care. Cleaning with damped cloth and then fixing connectors back to their terminals. Make sure they get fully connected otherwise antennas will not work. Now covering the battery button and sensors part with cloth and spraying the bottom circuit board with the cleaner. This cleaner is self drying, doesn't have any metallic residue and is completely non-conductive once dried. So it's safe to spray. Look how clean and shiny it has become. Now covering sensors and just cleaning the bottom portion of circuit board. Use spray pipe with cleaner to spray a bit on the power button part. Spray only once and allow it to dry. Now flip mini from bottom to top and spray the circuit board by inserting cleaner pipe through battery compartment. And also from sides near to these motor wires. As this cleaning is done, now let's open the front antennas. Press this lock down and antenna frame will open into two. Inside is a very nice piece of radio and microwave engineering. Look how small it is, yet capable to receive signals far from more than 1000 meters. Let's spray and clean these two with cleaner. Oh my god, this antenna is quietly firmly connected to the legs frame. Let's keep this open for cleaner to dry out and we'll open the other antenna in the same way and do spray cleaning this too. So here are both front legs frames opened with antennas visible inside. Once both antennas are dried, time to join halves of front legs and close both antennas inside them by clicking back locks. Next comes fixing back the black frame on the bottom side of the circuit board. When fixing this black frame, 
these three screws are to be tightened. Next is to fix the main bottom frame which sits above downboard's sensors. Putting latches back into locks near power button is a bit tricky. So do this slowly and with precision otherwise these latches locks will break. Insert a fully charged battery and test its level by one press of power button and confirm that all four LEDs glows and goes off on its own. No need to double press the power button. Then remove the battery. Now time to fix the top cover back to the body. Do this too with precision otherwise latch locks may break. Once top cover is properly locked and fit, insert battery, do one press check on power and then do the two press process on power button so that minis power on by showing camera gimbal movements, propeller motors jerks and making this familiar sound and then check the light shows up in green yellow light mode and soon after start blinking yellow. Power off the mini and repeat power on process once again. This is to double check that everything is good and initial startup is working smooth. Power off mini and if you wish then can test its complete power on setups with camera view as on after connecting mini's remote with a smartphone. Upcoming video will show how to open front and back legs of Mavic mini from main body through disassembling its hinges in case they get damaged and fixing them as new legs or just as it is after cleaning off the dust or dirt from the moving parts of these hinges and the legs. So viewers how you like this informative video of Mavic Mini teardown do let me know in comments section and stay tuned for the upcoming video. Till then, stay healthy and happy flying!